Okay, IED. Uh, activity 2.2.5. Uh, this is the CAD modeling skills where we're trying to make thread on a U-shaped heating element. And the problem is we're using Onshape instead of Fusion 360 for classes because of COVID. And threading is really weird on Onshape. So the way that we get around weird threading on Onshape is we download or we install an add-on onto Onshape so that we can actually use uh, the feature of threading without having to use the helix pattern and create a helix and then do a cut. You can do it with the helix pattern. It's just really difficult and counterintuitive compared to just a couple of clicks of the threading button. So what we're going to do is if you go up to this top corner, there should be like a little uh, dashed line with a plus sign. And whenever you click on it, it says add custom features. So if you click on that, we're going to look for type in here uh, thread creator and then hit enter and it should load up a couple of versions of a add-on called thread creator i'm going to go ahead and just i mean there's version one and version two i'm going to be really honest with you i don't know the difference between these like i don't know what upgrades there are uh but i'm just going to go ahead and just i'm going to click version two and install it so if you click on this it should install it right to it to find the thread creator you would click on that plus sign again and it should show up right here. If it doesn't show up, go ahead and just like uh, refresh the page or go back out of the document and then go back in and you should be able to see Thread Creator here. If you just hit add and then you just like wait for this to load, sometimes it doesn't load up. Anyway, this is what we're gonna use to create our thread and all you have to do is just click this button and you're going to find the piece that you're going to actually thread and we're going to click on it. I think this is going to be a little bit thick. Oh yeah. All right. So like it like literally shreds and, and the entire pipe. So my pitch angle of 0.125, I know it says to have a eighth of an inch in the diagram, but I think for the sake of not shredding our pipe, we're going to use, let's go 1 16th for the actual uh, thread angle. So Whenever you click on that, give it a little bit of time for my potato to do what it does. All right, so you can actually see the threading that occurs here. But in the diagram, it didn't go all the way down. It only went um, a, a certain amount. So instead of saying fully threaded, you're just going to click on this box, and you're going to go to distance. And in the diagram, it said that it was a half inch. So the thread length, instead of 2.31 inches, we're going to change it to 0 0.5 inches. And then we're going to hit the green check mark and you should have a half inch threading that goes this far for the pipe okay now for the actual like putting in the actual ANSI stuff you're more than welcome to do so uh, really what I'm worried about is can you actually create threading and do, did you not actually shred the pipe whenever you did that so um, keep in mind like if you have to put in specific dimensions make sure you check with your teacher on the specific thread types that you need um, I'm just happy to actually get threads and on shapes. So if, if, if we can make that, I'm a happy camper. Uh, and this is the fully assembled uh, heating element. So that's it for this one. I hope you guys have a great day and talk with you later.